Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 238. Beta Blockers. Name some of the beta blockers. Beta blockers includes acebutalol, betoxolol, esmolol, atinolol, metoprolol, propranolol, timolol, pindolol, and labetalol. What are the clinical uses of beta blockers? Beta blockers can be used in angina pectoris, myocardial infarction, supraventricular tachycardia, hypertension, congestive heart failure, and glaucoma. Describe the effects of beta blockers in angina pectoris. The effects of beta blockers in angina pectoris is to decrease heart rate and contractility. This results in decrease in oxygen consumption, which is beneficial in angina pectoris. Describe the benefits of beta blockers in myocardial infarction. In myocardial infarction, beta blockers decreases mortality. Name the beta blockers that are effective in supraventricular tachycardias. The beta blockers used in supraventricular tachycardias include metoprolol and esmolol. Describe the benefits of using beta blockers in supraventricular tachycardias. Beta blockers decreases the AV conduction velocity, and beta blockers are the class 2 antiarrhythmics. Describe how beta blockers are effective in the treatment of hypertension. Beta blockers will decrease the cardiac output. They will also decrease renin secretion due to beta-1 receptor blockade of the juxtaglomerular apparatus cells. Describe why beta blockers are useful in the treatment of congestive heart failure. The benefit of using beta blockers is because they slow the progression of chronic failure. Name the beta blocker useful in the treatment of glaucoma. The beta blocker useful in the treatment of glaucoma is timolol. What is the benefit of using timolol in glaucoma? Timolol is effective in glaucoma because it decreases the secretion of aqueous humor. What are the side effects and toxicities of beta blockers? The side effects and toxicities of beta blockers include impotence, exacerbation of asthma, cardiovascular adverse effects such as bradycardia, AV block, and congestive heart failure. Beta blockers can also lead to CNS adverse effects such as seizures, sedation, and sleep alteration. And lastly, beta blockers should be used with caution in diabetics. Name some of the drugs that are beta-1 selective antagonists where they have a greater effect on beta-1 blockade than do on beta-2 blockade. Some of these drugs include acebutalol, which is also a partial agonist, betoxolol, esmolol, which is a short-acting drug, atenolol, and metoprolol. What is the mnemonic to help you remember some of these beta-1 selective antagonists? The mnemonic to help you remember this is just remember a beam of beta-1 blockers. So that's A for acebutalol, B for betoxolol, E for esmolol, A for atenolol, and M for metoprolol. What is the benefit of beta-1 selective antagonists? Beta-1 selective antagonists are beneficial in patients with comorbid pulmonary disease. Define comorbid. Comorbid means that a disease or a pathological process that occurs simultaneously with another. So basically there is two disease processes occurring simultaneously. Name the non-selective beta blockers, which means they block beta-1 receptors just as much as they block beta-2 receptors. The non-selective beta blockers include propranolol, timolol, nadolol, and pindolol. What is the mnemonic to help you remember these non-selective beta blockers? The mnemonic is just to remember, please try not being picky. The P in please stands for propranolol, the T in try is for timolol, the N in not is for nadolol, and the P in picky is for pindolol. What are the non-selective, vasodilatory, alpha, and beta antagonists? The non-selective, vasodilatory, alpha, and beta blockers includes curvedilol and labetalol. Name the beta blockers that are also partial beta agonists. The beta blockers that are also partial beta agonists include pindolol and acebutalol. What is the mnemonic to help you remember beta blockers that are also partial beta agonists? The mnemonic just remember PAPA. So that's partial agonist, pindolol, and acebutalol. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.